Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on learning Elasticsearch. In this tutorial series, I'll go over a bunch of different Elasticsearch examples, um, some of which will be creating an index. We will create a mapping for a type on that index, and we'll also insert, update, and delete some documents on that index. Um, before beginning this tutorial, I've already booted an Elasticsearch setup. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, I have a tutorial on doing that, which I'll link in the description below and in this video. And I've also installed the Elasticsearch head plugin, which I'll be referencing a lot during this video. So to make things nice and easy, I've already created a GitHub repository, which we'll be copying and pasting from, and you'll be able to do as well. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create an index. And the settings on this index are going to be pretty simple. Uh, we're going to set the number of shards to be five. That's the default. And the number of replicas is going to be zero. And the reason why we're going to do zero in this case is because I'm only dealing with one node. Uh, but if you have multiple nodes in a cluster, you're probably going to want to set this number a little bit higher. By default, it's one. And this basically means that there's literally duplicates or replicas of your data in other nodes. So we're going to go ahead and create our index now. Paste that in there. And we can see that we have acknowledged true. And that means our index has been successfully created. And so now we can create the mapping for the user index and we're going to give it a type of profile. If you think of any sort of social network, you're going to have a profile and you're going to have some properties within there. Um, so these properties are pretty simple, full name, bio, age, location. Um, I have a funny one and if they enjoy coffee or not and when they've been created. Um, and you'll notice on here that some of these have store true and some of them don't. Um, by default, it's false. Um, and that basically means that um, when you have store of true, it's actually storing that field in the index itself rather than in the source. Um, and this is, uh, there's sort of a performance hit, but if you don't have a really large table, um, you can go ahead and get away with this. So I just wanted to show you that that's an option. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll paste that in and we'll go ahead and create our type. We can see we got acknowledged true. And if we jump over to the head plugin and we click refresh, we can see that we have our index in there and the user. And if we jump over to the browser tab, we can see all of the different uh, properties of that. So we can see we have our index and we have our type and then all of the fields that go along with that index. So now it's time to start inserting some data. And you'll notice here um, in the curl request, I'm specifying user profile slash one. Uh, that slash one is actually going to be the ID that I'm going to give this document. Uh, by default, Elasticsearch will sort of make up an ID for you. Um, but in this case, since we're dealing with sort of a social networking application, I'm going to know the user ID. Um, so I'll want to make that as the actual document ID. Um, but like I said, by default, it'll come up with some sort of a hash that it'll give you back. So I've created three users here, and we're going to go ahead and put this data in. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this first one. This first one's going to be me. And we'll paste that in there, and we can see that we have a created of true. And now we'll post a big fan of mine, Elon Musk. So we'll put him into our Elasticsearch setup. And we can see we have created of true. And you'll notice there his ID is two as well. And then we'll put in some hacker here as well that, you know, we have some bad user that we're going to want to remove later on. So we'll go ahead and add him in. Great. So now we can jump over to our Elasticsearch head. And we can see if we click refresh that we have our users in there. And if we scroll to the right, we can see we have all their data. Now, if your document has a lot of fields, um, it helps to click on the item that you're looking at. And you can see the source in sort of a vertical format, which is uh, really nice and really handy. So now it's time to update some data. So let's say we're running this social networking application and someone wants to change their location. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, we use the update API in Elasticsearch and we specify the document we want. And so in this case, you can see we have user profile one. So we're updating that first user and we're going to update their location within that document. So pretty simple. We can go ahead and copy this, uh, copy this curl command. And we can see we get a version of two. So it's been updated. And if we jump over back to our head plugin and we click refresh, we can see that the location has changed uh, for that user. 
So now we notice that we have a bad user, so we want to make sure we delete them. Um, this is a very simple request. Um, we're going to pass in the, uh, the number three for their ID, and that should remove them from our uh, Elasticsearch. We can see found was true, and we were able to remove them. And so now if we jump back over to Elasticsearch head, and we click refresh, we can see that this user right here, some hacker, is going to be deleted. Let's click refresh, and we can see that they're gone. So now we want to run one more update. Um, it's really important with Elasticsearch. If you're going to be updating many, many documents, um, you're going to want to use the bulk API. Um, and you, when using the bulk API, you actually have to specify a JSON file. Um, so this JSON file I have in my GitHub repository as well. Um, so I'll go ahead and reference that, and then we'll be able to update a bunch of records at one time. So if we take a look at bulk.json, we can see that it's in a, uh, a format of what do you want to do and uh, which document you want to do it on. So if we load bulk.json here and we paste that in, we see we want to run an update on a specific index and type, and we want to update the document. Um, so pretty simple. Uh, we're going to update Elon's name to Elon Musk the Great, and we're going to update my age to 27. So if we scroll back down here and we go to updating one more at a time, um, we're going to run this bulk API here, and we can see that we've updated two records. So if we jump back over to our Elasticsearch head and we click refresh, we're going to see my age go up to 27, which is great. And we're going to scroll to the left here, and Elon Musk is now Elon Musk the Great. So that pretty much concludes uh, this tutorial on inserting, updating, and deleting your data in Elasticsearch. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.